Hello, my name is Matthew Lee and I'm a systems engineer here at Measurement Technology Northwest. And today I'm going to give you a quick talk about running line tensiometers. We build a number of different tensiometers here at Measurement Technology and our customers have been inquiring many times about how they work. So we thought we'd give you a quick rundown. Here we've got two different units we make. On the left here is one of our smaller units, which is a 20,000 pound or 20 kip unit. And here on the right is the uh, 175,000 pound big brother, as we like to think of it. We also have a couple of other sizes bigger than this and one even smaller than this guy. A tensiometer is used to measure the line speed, uh, the line speed, payout and tension on a winch. Uh, and they're particularly useful in retrofitting applications because they get installed on the wire outside of the winch, which means we don't actually have to dismantle any of the existing equipment. Basically what happens is we take the winch line and we run it over the top of this shiv, underneath the middle shiv, and out the other side. So as the tension on the wire increases, it forces the middle shiv upwards. We have an instrumented pin which runs through the middle of the shiv with a strain gauge inside it, which gives us a millivolt reading depending on how much force is pushing up on the shiv. And that's how we measure the tension. We put it out to our uh, LCI displays, usually. We also have a payout sensor here, which measures pulses as the shiv rotates, which gives us our payout and speed values. Now, these tensiometers were built specifically for the marine industry, which means we use hardened steel and a uh, powder coat to keep the salt water out. And in our experience, this has worked quite well. I've seen them hold up to a lot of uh, harsh circumstances. Our particular tensiometers, we, we're pretty proud of them. We think they work quite well for a number of reasons. One is that they're quite small and lightweight compared to the competition. This guy here, as I said, can measure up to 20,000 pounds, and it's itself weighs only about a hundred. I can pick this up by myself with a bit of effort. Another advantage we have is that we can take the entire head off the unit, which uh, makes them very easy to take on and put on, uh, to put on and take off the winch line. It really doesn't take much effort at all, and I can get this thing right out like that, which means that you can install these in about five minutes if you know what you're doing. No problem at all. So that's a, a brief rundown of what tensiometers are and what ours look like. Uh, I'll sign off there for today. Uh, hopefully we'll have another blog coming out soon with some more information on how to install these in proper applications.